My name is David Cookson. I'm based in Hydro Constructible Singapore office. I've been in Asia Pacific for the last six years and prior to that was in Europe for 12. I'm a full-time member of the global CFO practice and board practice and I am co-lead for our global banking practice. The role has undoubtedly become much more complex in nature. Uh, since the pandemic we've had so much change and transformation across banking, insurance and to a large extent wealth management in Asia Pacific that undoubtedly the CFO's breadth, the responsibilities, the stakeholders they've had to deal with, whether that be boards, regulators, investors, all have become front and centre. You add in ESG, which has been a huge focus for the industry. You add in more recently the sudden adoption or indeed opportunity for many of AI and the CFOs of all banks, insurers, asset managers across financial institutions need to have a view on these topics. The investors expect it and the board expect it and fundamentally if the CFO is going to be a co-pilot to the CEO, which is what most modern day CFOs are uh, and aspire to be, then I think you need to have an understanding of all of these themes. Well, globally, we've seen a lot of disruption in the banking industry in particular, both in the US and Europe. And that will increase the pressure on CFOs and indeed boards from regulators around the world. So governance and regulation undoubtedly will be here to stay and remain as part of a key priority. But given the changes we've seen in technology, in digital transformation, the prominence of AI, which of course is a very hot topic at the moment, CFOs will have to have a view on this and will have to help the organisation both embrace these opportunities as well as mitigate the risks. So we have to remember that the CFO is fundamentally still the guardian of the finances. The chairman, the chair of the audit committee and the board rely on the CFO to keep the business safe. All CFOs must remember that as their first priority. The second leadership attribute is undoubtedly intellectual curiosity. Boards, CEOs want their CFOs to go that extra layer deeper to understand what's going into the organisation. Knowing when to drill down into something that they don't understand asking the difficult questions, ensuring that they are in command of the detail at times, but knowing when to delegate and when to step back and when to give their teams greater support when needed. For anyone aspiring to be a CFO, I would recommend they involve themselves in subsidiary boards or main boards as early as possible. That exposure of navigating that stakeholder group, the earlier they can learn gain insights from that board, help influence those types of individuals, the better. Secondly, for any deputy CFOs or individuals in other areas of financial services that want to become a CFO, I would ask the basic question, how are they preparing themselves for that? Are they networking with other group CFOs? Are they talking to big four audit partners about what it means to be a CFO? Have they made sure that if they're not from a technical background, they at least know the basics.